What is good, friends? We are back with OST round 8 ABR versus one at host Kaido game 2. And we saw ABR win game 1 pretty convincingly. And his opponent making some questionable plays, but I don't want to shit talk. So we see ABR bring some nice bulky offense balance. So we could, I could see that. It's kind of weak to Metagross, which I mean, like switchins wise, but every team is, is weak to Metagross switchins wise. If it doesn't have a Scizor, so I could see that being Helmet Tangrowth if he wants a decent quote unquote switching from Metagross because it can decently switch in and chip it with Helmet. Where Scarface ABA brought another Stolwick team and he go he's gonna get away with it. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, maybe I said his first team was fine was a stall because he had banned out at Briggs Ducky Session and Coco puts him work with a stall. So his opponent has like a version of anti pex anti team which was like it's basically um SDZ fighting move Boogaloo, Mega Scissor to switch into Metagross and Defog and U-turn around. Um I think it's mixed defensive Toxapex, defensive land of scarf each run, and then last slot anti head. What does Anti have in the last slot? He, he has a Latios, but I don't. I forgot what Anti had. So on this team, I could see the Lari being the Scarfer or the Lari being the Z Movemon, because I don't think the turn will be Scarf on this version of the team, but we will see. Um, maybe I get a good lead matchup here with Zapdos. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I could see the turn was being Helmet, but AV also makes sense. It doesn't have to be AV though, because he has a Magina, which could be a decent check for like Ash Greninja. His Scarf Jump is probably Scarf. And then his Marek is either the Rocker, uh, either SD, not not SD, it's either Rock 3 attacks Marek or SD 3 attacks Marek if it's Rock's Chomp. Like it could be Scarf Rock's Chomp or it could be... Yeah, I think Scarf Rock's Chomp if it's... Like this Scarf Chomp has to be Scarf pretty much is what I'm thinking. If it's not Scarf Greninja, it could also be Scarf Greninja, yeah, with Rock's Life or Volcarona. But yeah, either the Chomp or the Greninja has to be Scarf. As he goes for Z Stone Edge turn 1 and kills the Marek, that was huge. Um, I've seen Zekon and the Crush being used a lot by Ricardo. That's pretty cool. Sad. Ricardo was one of my favorites to win OST, but he got hexed out round five. He beat like players like Poges and Intendi, and he was doing so well. Like his prep was just on point. Shoutouts to you if you're watching this. One of the best Sun Moon Oyo players in my opinion, but he just um, his, in his SPL games he had to play at uncomfortable times and. How he did, like his run in SPL wasn't that good, but it didn't show how good he really is. But that that's not the time to talk about this. I just wanted to give him a, this guy a shout out. He's really good. Um, yeah, ABR losing Merrick is kind of huge. Because ABR is like, just clicks Shadow Bone versus his opponent's team, does a good amount of damage. So we see it's probably a, um, it's either the Spadef set, or um, Magina set with leftovers. It's like Bengay has been running that set, which is calm. 136 spit dev, I think, 124 spit dev, something like that, max HP. With leftovers and pain split, it's either that set or it's a salt vest. So we see it's torn the Conan Crush Bulu. The last move would probably be Home Leech or Woodhammer, and then Leech Seed or. Can we see this Heat Run Throw or the Toxic, which kind of. Like I said earlier, I don't think this is Scarf turn and him going for Toxic kind of shows. Um, I don't have the correct English word in my mouth at the moment. I can't think about it. Good God, what I'm trying to say. It kind of confirms that the Hedron is not showing Scarf. Scarf Toxic would be weird. Could be still Scarf. I don't think it is. Go with Greninja on the rocks after. Maybe I got a bit on rocks. So then let's throw up the rocks for one of the host Kaido and. If this is extra sensory, it goes in on his opponent's team. And Ash Greninja goes for Dark Pulse, doesn't get the flinch. That's huge. Oh, maybe I might lose. Maybe I probably loses this. Good God. A bonus that makes game game three already. Give it, give it. Yeah, this is. Oof. Oof. I like when it's not 2 0. Like, I like when OST series comes to game three. CHPS is up. Those just pick off the Lando, get some lefties. 
And we see the Zapdos with pressure, so it could be Defog, which makes a lot of sense on his team because he's weak to spikes or hazard stack in general. Like spikes plus rocks. Which is hazard stack. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't think the land risk from this opponent was defensive. It was probably rocks offensive land or Um, the Dark Bolt's play by ABR makes a lot of sense because he has a Toxapex, his opponent has a Toxapex. ABR gets a Discharge Para, but not a full Para. So ABR can go for like Discharge again, Fish for Para because his opponent, I can see his opponent going for Earth Power, predicting the Ruse. Yeah, hitting Magma Storm to Para is actually. Whew, not everyone can do that. Yeah, he's trying to. Okay, he didn't off power, but then that's so much. He hit a, he hit another magma stone to para. That's not, whew, not many people can do that. I mean, he's just fishing for the para or the myth. Ooh, the chat is going wild now. He's saying gold, so good. <laughs> oh yeah, there's still smoke to his finals going on. Flaming team was PC. I haven't looked at it at all. I'll probably look at the ending. Yeah, I want every other windows, but yeah, I'm definitely fine with seeing a game three, which we probably will see. So yeah, it was Ash Ninja. So that confirms that it's Scarf Chomp. Then he's doubling out. He's predicting the uh, type of Bulu slash what? What? The boy just burned into Toxapex. Why did he go to Toxapex? That was so weird. Did he, did he predict him to? Did he predict ABI to go for poison jab, pre predicting the Bulu, and then went Toxapex? I know Toxapex lives in Earthquake, but that play was so odd. Um, I guess it was a mid ground play because he didn't, from his opponent, from ABR's opponent, because he didn't think ABI would go for Earthquake because he has a Ladi and he had a Toxapex. Uh, ABI went for Volt Switch there. Got his Megina tricked away. So Megina got a scarf, like he took his salt vest. And yeah, he pretty much predicted the toxic packs there so he didn't go for Flurken. And then maybe I just said I've had enough. I'm not gonna be able to break your team with a scarf chomp. When you have like ground resists, dragon resists, ground immunity with Latheus Levitate toxic packs that you can just go out always to scout what the guardian blocks itself into because it can live off quick too. So a potential poison jab that would snipe the bull would also be scouted for, but yeah, that was still odd going to toxic packs. Yeah, I'm the only reason I'm gonna pause it again and be right back with game three is cause my internet is super bad. And if I wanna upload these games in like like it's still gonna take forever to upload these because I'm uploading in HD again. Hope you guys like the quality by the way. But yeah, with my bad net uploading is gonna take like um uh, probably about 15 or 20 hours to upload one of these games. Um, not my, my, my fast internet will probably be back in the next 12 hours. So I will just use that to upload. So the game is like at the moment, it's in 20 minutes, it's midnight here. I assume the game is gonna be up. Can expect the game to be up at like, like this is game two, right? So it's gonna be up at like 12, 12 tomorrow, my time, which would be which would be 6 in the morning American time. Um, EST or whatever time it is. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, there was some... Maybe other opponent made some, made some hard read there, staying in with the Landris earlier on the... on the Ash Ninja, that was wild. Okay, that, on the Greninja, that wasn't Ash form yet. Knowing he had a Pax in the back and he wouldn't go for Hydro. That was pretty wild. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Pretty tired, so might not be my best narration, but kind of kind of feeling good to um, to be able to record this even because like early my nap was gone and I was like, whew, hopefully it can, hopefully I even can even record this. And yeah, I found a slow, found some niche, I found some slow net here. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Peace out, friends. Uh, stay tuned for game three, which is for ABR. ABR versus this host, one well, not host Kaido. That game is pretty wild. I know people are gonna make some memes about that if the guy wins, but yeah, let's hope ABR wins. <laughs> I just like ABR's teams and play style. Peace out, I'm running for no reason. <laughs>